Yes! We don't have the combo in hand. If they cannot defeat us here, if they cannot freak... That doesn't do anything, though. <gasps> we got it! Game two! Combo initiated, baby! Game two! Combo freaking initiated! Boom! Boom! You lose! You! Just straight up lose, my friend! Oh, baby! What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Yee freaking R! The freaking Outlaws of Thunder Junction is here, and we're playing it today. I was invited to the early X event, so thank you very much at Wizards of the Coast. And I had only eight hours. I managed to record three decks. I tried some more, but sometimes decks don't work as well as you might hope. But the decks that, that worked, worked insanely freaking well. So that is what we're doing today, you know, just uh, playing these beautiful decks and we will absolutely smash with them. We're also still on our way to 30k, so if you haven't done so already, you know what to do, but enough with the yammering! Let's get into you, of course I'm playing Mono Black first, hammering! Oh, this is crazy, Blood Letter of Aglazots plus Rush of the Dread. Um, look at the third mode, the first mode is target opponent sacrifice half the creatures, round it up, they discard half the cards the second, round it up, and they lose half of their life. If you pay five mana for half of their life and you have the blood letter of Aglazot's doubt, they just lose all of their life. Because this says they lose twice that much. And twice half rounded up is all of their freaking life. So that is absolutely freaking crazy. So that out of the way. Now let's get to the rest of the deck because you cannot rely on the combo alone. So what are we doing? We're also playing Gisa. He says one of my new favorite cards. This card is absolutely crazy and I freaking love it. She has War 2 and Pay 2 Life, which is pretty good. Skeletons and Zombies you control have plus 1, plus 1 and Manus, which is also absolutely good. And whenever you commit a crime, you make two of these beautiful zombie rogue creature tokens. This only triggers once each turn and they enter tapped. How do you commit a crime? Well, if you target your opponent, anything they own, like also with a counter spell or stuff in their graveyard, that is how you commit a crime. And once you do that, you will get those freaking zombies. So, how are we committing crimes? Well, for example, with binding negotiations. It says target opponent, so you're targeting an opponent, so you're committing a crime. They discard a card. Pretty good. So you committed a crime. Bit of triumph. You target something that is theirs. It says target. So you commit a freaking crime. Um, we also have like the insatiable avarice that we can use to make them draw three cards and lose three life. If we have Shadowed out, that is absolutely amazing. So yeah, committing a freaking crime. But also, for example, Lord Skitters here. Every time a rat enters the battlefield, you interact with their graveyard, which is, as we learned, committing a freaking crime. So why is committing crime in a deck good? Because we also have Vatmir. Every time you commit a crime, you put a 1-1 one -one counter onto Vatmir. And once there's four or more counters, he has Menace and freaking Lifelink. Absolutely crazy. We have Tiny Bones. Tiny Bones is also amazing. It's a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch that if you have Gisa out is now a 2-1 with Death Touch and Menace. Um, and when it deals combat damage to player you mask, may cast a target non-land permanent from that graveyard and pay mana of any type to cast it. So it's only permanent and it says target from the graveyard. So it is committing a crime. Same with the unfortunate accident. You can either destroy a creature for 4, which is good, but for 5, you also get a mercenary out of this, which is pretty darn freaking good. Um, another amazing card that we have in here is Tiny Bone joins up. When it enters the battlefield, any number of target players discard a card, which is committing a crime. And whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield, any number of target players each mill a card and lose one life, which is committing another freaking crime. That means you can also target yourself with this, but why would you want to do this? Um, but that is amazing, because you play this, then you play a legendary Vatmir, now you already have a freaking tar uh, trigger for the counter. Then you play your Lord Skitters, your Gigs, legendary creatures, Tiny Point joins up, triggers. Sheldred, freaking triggers. Gisa, triggers. So just by playing Gisa, you already get the freaking trigger, which is absolutely amazing. We have some Phyraxian Arena to draw cards. We have uh, also the Insatiable Avarice to put something on top that we want. Uh, the way this works is you have to pay the black plus whatever kicker is below. So 
for a black plus two colorless, you search a card, put it on top of your library, and if you pay another two, you also can draw three cards and lose three life. If you have shattered out, you're still getting six life back, so you only lost, uh, you're even gaining three freaking life. The Rush of the Dread is absolutely amazing, also as a removal. They have like one creature, they will have to freaking sack that creature. And uh, yeah, then we have the Takenuma with all of our legendary creatures. There was always cost one, so that is also pretty insane. And that is uh, the gist of it. The deck is pretty good. The deck is pretty amazingly fun also. I enjoyed it very, very freaking much. The lifelink from Vatmir will be there so fast. Also, like if you do, like if you have Tiny Boy and Jones up, you play this. Then you play something else and you have mana for like, I don't know, a bit of triumph or something like that in during their turn. You can also commit a crime during their turn, and that is absolutely freaking amazing. The blood letter also is insane with just these zombie rogues. Absolutely good. And then 22 swaps. And that is all there is to it. Maybe the matter, like, if you play it against Boros and stuff, which will happen sooner or later, you can also put in, like, some board wipes. Easy peasy. But for the early access, this was one of the funnest deck I played. And, of course, it was mono black. Now, after more than nine hours of freaking recording, I'm done. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you And I was mono black yeehaw games. All right, we're playing up against Philippa. Oh, another two-lander. I don't want to keep it up. <laughs> okay. All right. This what it is. This what it is. Let's give a little howdy here. And bring in um, Tiny Bones. Deep Cavern Bat! Come on. Come on. Really? Deep Cavern Bat. In today's economy. In freaking today's freaking economy. Yep, I mean, hey, you get this for it, though. So that is kind of fine with me. So what you got now? Up, oh, okay, for tally. Oh, it's not for tally. Oh, look, it's a land. It's a freaking land. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. What, the new starter decks? No, this is a deck I built myself. This is a deck I built myself for the early access stream I went that we are playing right now. There's a blood letter. Okay. All right. Well, let's do this and um, let's call it a day. That is what you get for using the bat. That is what you get for using the bat. Okay. Tiny bones. All right. Let's get the blood letter down. Now we'll be attacking in. If she wants to destroy the, the uh, you know, if she wants to use the uh, tail swipe here, that is kind of fine with me. I will just block here. All right. Okay. So what else have you got for me, Philippa? This card is pretty good, not gonna lie. That sound setup, you're the only person that has that problem. Literally the only person. Like, there's no sounds but arena and the music. So, yeah. How many does this need? Four, right? Yeah. Tiny Bones kind of sucked. Oh, now you have a freaking removal spell? Okay. All right. Well, here's Sheldred for your troubles. <laughs> here's Sheldred. <laughs> That is what you get for playing the pet! How did I get the pet? Well, by um, being in the early access event. That is how. All right, ending the turn here. Good luck, my friend, Philippa, good luck. Blooming Marsh, by the way, in standard now. 
Let's give a little howdy here. Just a little slightly howdy. All right. <laughs> Yo, the bad ugly! We did it! We beat Philippa in the first game! That never happened! Get out of here, Philippa! One of my best friends, get out of here! We're up against Hamhawks! I am um, Junt Enjoyer. So let's see, opponent goes first. Happens, but hey, <gasps> there's the rush of the dead. Dread. The rush of the dread. Look at these two horses just chilling. Wake up, horses. Wake up. Let's get a little howdy. Howdy, my friend. Told you, Junt Enjoyer. Told you. Junt freaking Enjoyer. Yeehaw, yeehaw, indeed. Yeehaw, indeed. All right, how many more rushes of the dread would you like? Yes. Um. Let's make the mercenary here. You really have an answer? Do you really? Do you really? This came from YouTube. Let's get you the partnership. Indeed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, we do have the Rush of the Dread here, which is pretty darn good. Yo, Pak Chumpion, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. I'm just slamming in now. We can just make him sack the creatures, you know, which is pretty darn freaking good. Smuggler Surprise, all right, I got that as well in here, so yeah. Not bad, not bad. Well, not in this, but I have a deck with it, so yeah. That is what I wanted to say. <laughs> that is what I wanted to say. <laughs> I have a deck with it. All right, yep. Typical John Enjoyer. All right, a lot of lands here. Now I am attacking in. I will be exiling the Voltborn Tyrant. I cannot pay it, though. Rectus joins up. Well, that is pretty bad for us, isn't it? That is pretty darn bad for us, freaking, isn't it? Well, here's the blood letter, though. I am passing the turn. Because I think we win. Yes! We don't have the combo in hand. If they cannot defeat us here, if they cannot freak, that doesn't do anything though. <gasps> we got it. Game two combo initiated, baby. Game two combo freaking initiated. Boom, boom. You lose. You just straight up lose, my friend. Oh, baby. You were building a similar deck to what I would be building soon, but mine. It's different. Mine is better. Master of Mono Black. That's right. We're up against Saffron Olive. Beard battle. Beard battle. Oh, my Lord, Crimus. Yes, Crimus. Okay. Alrighty. So, um. I will be going with Tiny Bones here. <gasps> okay, all right. That sucks, but hey, okay, all right. Um, let's get rid of this and not attack in here. They're also not attacking in, which kind of makes sense. Kind of really, really makes sense. Would do the same. Yes, of MTG Goldfish indeed. So I don't want to attack in with my tiny bones here. Just feels bad, you know? Just feels genuinely bad. Alright. Tiny bones kind of got picked on here. Yeah, he's a pickpocket. He got picked on. We should also give him a howdy, by the way. I totally forgot to howdy. <laughs> totally forgot to howdy. <laughs> We have to do this. We have to do this. Uh, first time catching a stream? Yo! 
Welcome to the crew. Oh, another one of those. All right. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but it's whatever. It is whatever. All right. Here's Lord Skitterinho. Actually can't block. Um, let's get rid of this. No attack still. So they have to do the sorcery speed, which is kind of alright to me. Also we have this little, um, kind of, uh, you know, legendary matter sub-theme, which is pretty cool. I like that. Do you really have an answer for my Lord Skidorino here? Do you freaking have it? I mean, it is kind of alright with me. Taking three here is fine. I will not be blocking this. You can have it, Saffron Olive. You can have it. Oh, they do have another one. Yo, come on. Really? Really? All right. So, this will be a crime committed. So, that is pretty darn cool for us. Um, yes. Committing that crime. Crimery committed. All right. And now we're just attacking with both of them. Yep, this is madness now because this is a very crazy combo, man. That I actually did not even think about. Everything is kicker, my friend. Everything is kicker. <laughs> Literally everything. <laughs> okay, um... Decline. We can play it next turn, which is pretty darn cool. This mono black deck is so nice. I really, really love it. Not gonna lie. Brackish crew. Cool, man. I like that. I really do. Because I built like a similar deck. A very similar deck, but with some extra sauce in it. So we will get to that soon. We will get to that soon. All right. Yep, no problem here. I will take that. I'm bringing in Shelly here. Alright, make him lose another life. Now you, you, you. Not you, but you. Having Death Touch and Menace is absolute insane. Absolutely insane. Alright. So, uh, I can take this one now and just play it. Auto pay. Yes. Oh, our first steal of the night. So does Precos replace the colorless portion? No. You still have to pay. And they scoop. And they scoop, man. Saffron Olive. Zero. Malone. One. Boom. Get out of here, Saffron Olive. Get freaking out of here against the odds. That is what happens when you go up against Malone. Get crushed, baby. We're up against Philippa again. Wow, oh, that will happen today. That will happen. Like, we will play against the same people again. We're keeping this. Let's give a little tarnation here. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> why the heck not? Deep Cavern bad again. Oh my lord, really, Philippa? Really? Tarnation. What in tarnation, man? What did they get? Okay, alright. That is... That is bad for us. But hey, it is what it is. Alrighty. I thought about putting the Deep Cavern bat in here as well. But I, I kind of said, you know what? It's kind of whack. Kind of freaking whack. You met your wife on Twitch? That's amazing. Yo, Cashbiz, welcome. <clears throat> okay. Literally shot the sheriff. Literally shot the sheriff. Come on, man. Really, Philippa? Really? And now you're even looking at the top cards? I mean, we do have the Takanuma, so that is already something, you know? Oh, okay. All right. So, more removal? Is that what I hear from this? Is that what I get from that? Nope, just a deputy. Also, the card is, um... 
has a flavor text like, where's the deputy? Pillage the Bog is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Like, really, really insane. Like, look at the top 10 cards, put one of them in your hand is crazy good. Crazy freaking good. Okay, all right. We do have the Avarice, though. So let us see if she has the combo or nay. Well, even if she does, losing one life here. That was your top deck. I'll get out of here. Wait. Isn't it? Oh, it's Mill. It's not this card. It's Mill, not this card. That is literally three of them. <laughs> literally three of them. Well, if that is the only way that she can beat us, that is what it is. Get out of here, Filippo, with your stupid bat. Get out of here. Yo, Gabriel Nassif is back on the channel. <gasps> Crimmers. Yes, Crimmers. All right, do I like the hand? Yes. If we draw one land, we're good. If we draw one land, we're super good. One singular freaking land is all we need. All right, let's give a little yeehaw. And do this. I mean, you know, once more. It's very lucky, but it happens. It happens. Nothing to see or to say. Pylon, actually a pretty underappreciated card. And I maybe I should play it as well. <laughs> but I'm not. Already built a deck. And that is what we're doing now. Up, oh, it's a mono black or mono black action. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, really? Really? This is what's going on now? Well, I mean, that is what it is. Nothing I can do about that now, is there? And we'll be bringing in Gix, though. Slap Dan Matt. Yo, really? Really? You're really doing that? Okay, alright. You're really playing a freaking meta like Boros? Really? For real, Gabriel Nassif? For real? You have all the new cards available and you play Boros? That is kind of whack. <laughs> kind of really whack. <laughs> kind of really, really whack. Well, they're not even playing Boros here. They're playing Astos, Bearer of the Blades. So let us see. Maybe I was wrong, you know? Maybe I was wrong. But uh, I do have this little combo together with Shadrit that I'm waiting to happen. Okay, what does this do? Uh, reveal an equipment or vehicle. Well, there was none, it seems. There was a none. Alright. Well, that is pretty good. Um, No need to attack in here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Five. I do have five, so I can use both if I want to. Literally use both if I want to. But we will see about that. Alright. Okay. I mean, go ahead and attack. Go ahead and do that. Yo, that is a nice combo, though. That is a very, very nice combo, though. But the thing is that they're losing all this life now, so is it really that good? It's a pretty nice combo. And here I thought Gabriel Nassif was just playing Boros, you know? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's give a little one in the tarnation here. That is kind of crazy, man. But also having Shadowed here is what will absolutely save us. Absolutely. And once they think they're safe, they aren't safe anymore. How do we get the phrase in Arena? I think they're part of some, uh, yeah, some bundle. I don't know what bundle, but they might be part of that. Alright, go ahead and draw more cards. I'm all for it. I'm all freaking for it. Just draw like two or three more cards. I would give him this little Kellen here. <laughs> Imagine we didn't have Sheldred here. 
we would be pretty, pretty screwed. Pretty screwed, but this is a crazy combo. Something only like a dude like Gabriel and Asif can come up with, it seems. Do they play removal, though? We haven't seen removal yet. So, what are you doing, my friend? Another Lotus Ring. Isn't this legendary? It's not legendary. What? It's not even legendary? What? Okay. All right. Yeah. But they will not like what I'm doing next here. They will not like what I'm doing next here. Okay. All right. So... Yeah. Good. Draw three cards. <laughs> Just absolute BM here. Just absolute freaking BM. Take that yellow head. That is what you get for rating Pokemon cards on my channel. I BM you. I absolutely freaking BM you. Get out of here. Yo, we're up against Rapsolo. I think it's Spanish. <gasps> Crimus! Yes, Crimus! Um, we have part of the combo in hand. And we have removal, so let's do this. Yo, Maori and Law! Ciao, Malone! Quando vieni in Florida, mi piacerebbe scambiare quattro chiacchiere. Hey, invite me to Florida and I will be there. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> you just have to invite me. <laughs> so, um, I think I don't like this. I think I straight up don't like this. Bloodthide Harvester is fine with me. Another blood letter. This costs four. Which you know is not the best thing to ever happen. Did you find a removal, my friend? Did you find it? Lazav! Okay, alright. Lazav is interesting. Uh, here's a blood letter though. Well, let us see what you do about that. We already did it, Maxim. We're just trying to do it again here. Just trying to freaking do it again. Mm -mm. If we can get it twice today, I'm already very, very darn freaking happy. Very happy. All right, a clue. Um, yeah, I mean, you have to have a clue, though. You have to have a clue, though. So this deals twice, a uh, two. That is not so much. And Gisa here is amazing because it means that we can uh, crime away. Gisa is a thousand times better than I gave her credit for. A million times better than I gave Gisa credit for. If not even two bajillion times better. So did you, this one of these cards, is this last card now a removal spell? Is that right, Rob Solo? Is that freaking right? Insanity. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. All right. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're still doing stuff, so hey. We're still freaking doing stuff here. And we do have the blood letter, so that will be four. It will be eight damage coming down next turn. But then being able to, um,. Getting rid of my Glisa here straight up. We saw their hand. We knew about every single card, but that one card. Mm -mm. Okay, my lord. <laughs> my lord. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, freaking Roddy. Turning into Glisa here. That is pretty darn smart. But do you have something to commit a crime, though? You don't. You don't. Okay. Alright. Well, that means that I can get rid of that now. I can absolutely get rid of that now. And we just need a little bit of draw luck here. Just ever so slightly a little bit of draw luck here. Passing a turn. Let us see what our opponent does here. Once more, just slightly, ever so slightly, a little bit of draw luck. And then we're good. 2,000 video games, 1,000 board games, 200 magic booster boxes. Yo, I mean, hey, if you have a way to get me to, you know, what did you say where it was, Florida? I forgot already. I can't search it now. 
If you have a way to find it, I mean, hey, that is absolutely amazing. I will be there. Can I do both? I can, right? Oh, yes, I can. Yo, Importo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So, we're even making a mercenary here, which is pretty darn cute. Pretty darn freaking cute. Here's the Corpse Appraiser now, alright. Corpse Appraiser works very well with Magda. But maybe I would have played Marquisa first. But hey, who am I to tell people how to play the game? Am I right? Am I right? I know I am. Okay, another land. Not exactly what I was looking for here, but hey. You know, I'll take it for now. Because I have to. Nothing I can do about it. Yo, that game against Hammocks was crazy. We pulled off the combo. Oh my lord, come on. Our opponents are drawing so well and I cannot find anything. I'm on seven lands. Seven lands. Look, we even had the combo straight up. We even had the combo straight up in hand. How much mana do we have? Seven. So this is plus two... We had the combo in hand, man. We had the combo in hand. Now we're dead to uh, the Restless Reef. <laughs> now we're just dead to the Restless Reef. <laughs> Yo, we had it in hand, but they had to have a Giggs freaking command. Like, come on, game. Are you for real? Are you for real? Just play the Restless Reef and attack me, Rob Solo. I mean, this works also. Good game. Fair and square. Seven lands in the first 14. <laughs> the way it is intended. But it was a cool deck, so I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. We're up against Ali Eldrazi. Yo, the muscle man. MTG muscle man. Okay. Uh, let's keep this. I'm bringing tiny bones because of the binding negotiations, you know. Alright, what you got here? Up the beanstalk! Okay, alright. I mean, we're not playing anything here anyways. Yo, Primeval Titan! Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Really? Leyline Binding? Well, let's get rid of that, because there, there will be a point in time where they will just be able to play it, you know? Decline. Really. <laughs> really. <laughs> alright. This is pretty good, though. I kind of want to draw the three cards. Oh, amazing. Oh, freaking amazing. The Klein. Do you think they found another one? That's the only question that I have. So we do have this now, which means if we find our bet, we can win. Uh, I don't know. I really cannot tell you that. I really, really don't know. Okay, what do you have in hand? I think it's just Sparrow's headquarters holding priority here. Let's be honest. What else would it be? Oh, what you discarding here, my friend? My friend of misery. It was the land. Okay. So they still have the um, Boseju, which is kind of fine with me. Alright, I can still not pay for it, so it doesn't really matter. It's very expensive. <laughs> it's very, very expensive. Are you using Boseju here? You're not. You're keeping your Boseju. Alright. Well, here's Gisa now. And uh, now Tiny Bones has freaking uh, Menace, which is pretty cool. And we're making all of these little tokens, which is pretty cool. Man, these geese are combo together with Tiny Bones. Uh, Tiny Bones, yeah. Tiny Bones joins up is absolutely amazing. Leyline Binding. What are you Leyline Binding, though? The geese are? Okay, that is kind of fine with me. We're still losing the life. So, hey ho, let's go. I mean, it doesn't really matter. That I even have to decline this. <laughs> that I even have to decline this is kind of whack. Alright. So. 
How much is this? Uh, five. Bramble Familiar coming down. Double Bramble Familiar. Double Bramble Familiar. So I think I kind of need to win this as fast as possible. Also, Draco, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Kind of need to win this as fast as freaking possible. So let's do that. Alrighty. I think we can win this next turn. Crazy ramp deck though. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can win this. I think we can. Man, Tiny Bones is amazing. Tiny Bones, just freaking amazing. Every single card with Tiny Bones on it, freaking amazing. Yo, Sauce, how you doing, my friend? Does this have haste? It doesn't. But it also draws you a lot of cards, which is kind of fine with me. Because I'm just doing this now. Can I do both? I can. Amazing. Criming even freaking harder here. Criming even freaking harder. Okay. All right. Who is the most muscular streamer in the world now? Mario Drazi. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I would get crushed. By Ali Eldrazi's muscles, my head would be smushed like nothing, so I better... I better don't say that. <laughs> Get out of here, me. We're up against Hello Good Game. Perfect. Perfect. Opponent's going first. I do not like it too much, but I do like our hand here. The hand is okay. I will keep it. And let's give him a hello, good game, and a freaking howdy. Tiefing Wormlet. All right, interesting. Doggo's committing crime? Absolutely. absolutely, freaking lutely The Doggo's are just going absolutely crazy. And I don't know why or how. All right, here is uh, Vatmir, the new blood. We don't have a bit of triumph for the Gala Greeter, so that is all right. And I'm not afraid to use it. Not afraid to use the LPR. Howdy to you as well, my friend. Howdy to you as well. What is this? Interesting. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. That is pretty darn crazy. Pretty darn cra I mean, eight. <laughs> That is pretty darn crazy. Yo, Poopsock, if you say once more that I should get my dogs baked, I will ban you, literally. I, I hate that kind of stuff. I literally hate that kind of stuff. So just, just stop it. Just please stop it. All right, I'm paying three life here to get rid of you. I think that that is all right. So, we can make them sack half of their creatures here next turn as well, which is pretty darn good. I think that that is fine. Yup. Yo, come on, man. Literally, come on, man. Can't make this up. You can't make this up. The only thing that would be very, very good is having the creature again. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just, just have the creature again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is mad. That is absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. Um, Enter the battlefield this turn, though. And now Mondrak. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Fine with me. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. 
They're still going to have to like discard, uh, like sacrifice off the creatures rounded up here. Which is three of them, which is very good, you know. I like that. So... But also they're kind of out of stuff to do. Kind of out of stuff to do. But let us see what they're sacking here. Also 33 life, why not, you know? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Absolutely alright. Like, Hello Good Game did not design this game. Uh, that is like, not, not true. <laughs> not true. <laughs> Hello Good Game did not design the game. So! What you doing here? Hello, GG. What are you doing here? Okay, alright. Oops. Yeehaw. We're still kind of fine here. Like, we're bringing in gigs. We do have the unfortunate accident for later. We just need to freaking survive somehow. So... No blocks. Skrelf. Skrelf absolutely sucks. Skrelf absolutely sucks. Still kind of fine. Because we will be getting lifelink afterwards. So still okay. At least I hope so. They're drawing very well. They're drawing very, very well. So, um... What are the dogs doing? Of course they're doing stupid things. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay. Okay, can we survive here? Like, they didn't draw a single land, which is kind of bad for us. So what is your grand scheme here, hello good game? What is your grand freaking scheme? What is the last card you drew? What is that last card they drew? I want to know. I really, really want to know what it is. I have to know. It was something good. It was something good. Oh, okay. All right. That is a okay. Because I still survived this, so it's fine. Absolutely fine. What was your last card? Another one? Was it another gear red? Okay, hmm, so this is eight. If I destroy this now and make a mercenary, it will go to six. I will go to exactly eight. Which isn't good enough, but also still not bad. Because I mean, hey, this is pretty good, you know. This is pretty, pretty good. Because I can still block. If they have a removal now, they have a removal. Have I seen a stream? No. Why would I watch other people stream while I'm streaming myself? <laughs> the reason Mono Green still worth building? I don't know. We will see. There is some upgrades to it, so yeah. I'm blocking here like this. You never know. Okay, alright. Okay, all right. I think I should be greedy here.
I think I should be greedy here. So... This is only six, though. We can discard you here. And then next turn we play Sheldred, commit another crime. Okay. Crime committed. Man, if it weren't for Vadmir, we would be so dead already. <laughs> we would be so dead already. So insanely freaking dead already. It's crazy. It is crazy. So, we don't have to talk Enuma here still, which is pretty darn good. So I hope that uh, we draw something really good here. Alright, pass to attacks. Good game. Yeehaw. And they... Boom! Boom, what a game, man! What a game! They started off like crazy! Crazy! Look at this! Double gear it, the Gala Greeters, Sandstorm, everything! And then we got him real good! That was crazy, man! Crazy! Get out of here, hello, good game! Hey, no! Defeating the Master of Mono! Freaking Black, baby!